I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a while. What I have in front of me is a multi-cart for the Nintendo DS. According to the packaging, it claims that it's 64 gigabytes with 500 games. I was able to pick this one up for a little bit under $30 on Amazon, but there's a ton of different ones out there. This one stood out to me more or less due to the box art and the alleged games that it had on it. But does it in fact have 500 games? Does it have any games? We're going to find out. Over on the back side of the case, this is supposedly a list of the titles that are on this cartridge. The print is so small that even with a magnifying glass, you're probably not going to be able to fully make this thing out. Inside the case, it came with a free hand strap. I don't know when or why I would ever use this thing. And the cartridge itself was sealed in another case. Taking a look at the game cart itself, it says Nintendo 3DS on it instead of DS. And I got some Dragon Ball Z, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Gaiden, and some Crash Bandicoot artwork. And once again, alleges to have 500 in one right on this cartridge. Now, before I bought this thing, I kind of had a feeling this would be the case. But this thing it looks very similar to a standard R4i gold card. Here's my R4 card right here. And as you can see, they look very similar. The same exact positioning for the slot for the SD card. And just the design itself, with the exception being this multi-cart is black and the R4 card is yellow. But like I said, before I even ordered this thing, I kind of had a feeling that it was going to be an R4 card just with its own distinct branding on it. But that might not necessarily be a bad thing. These R4 cards work really good. I've been having this one since 2016 and it's never given me any issues. So hopefully that's the case with this thing. But now for the moment of truth, let's pop it into our DS and see how well it performs. So once inside the DS, the console recognizes it as the game Deep Labyrinth by Atlas. And once launched, it takes you to this wood grain menu with your full game list. Just browsing this game list, I could already see that there's a ton of repeats. And some of the names of these games don't even make any sense. So I think it's safe to assume that there is not, in fact, 500 games on this cartridge. But that's okay, it can totally redeem itself as long as it has some solid games on it. Hell, even if you got 50 to 100 games, if they're all really good games, I think it might be worth the money. But I'm not really happy with the way my camera is picking up my DS, so I'm going to pop this thing into my 3DS just so we could get a better look while filming some gameplay. The first game that stood out to me on the list was Aliens Infestation. It's a side-scrolling Metroidvania style game that's actually one of my personal favorites on the DS. So needless to say, I was pretty happy to see it on here. Next game on the list that stood out to me was Pokemon Heart Gold. I didn't play enough of it to verify if everything worked correctly, but from what I did play, it seemed to run fine. So that's another big ups that it actually has a legit Pokemon title on it. Up next, it has the version of Mario 64 that was ported over to the DS. In my opinion, this is the definitive version of Mario 64. It has everything that's great about the original with so much added content. This is my favorite version of Mario 64 to play, and it's nice to see it on this multi-cart. This one popped up about three times on the list. This is Mario Kart DS. So it seems like they really want you to know that this game is on here. Great game. Glad to see it. Now this is where things started to go south really quickly. Immediately after exiting out of Mario Kart DS, the menu completely disappeared. All I get is this black screen with some icons on the left hand side. No names of the games, no box art, just a black screen with a couple of icons. I tried putting it back into my DS, I tried putting it into my other 3DS, I tried putting it into my 2DS, and this menu issue just kept persisting. The menu never came back, and the game selection really took a dip in quality. While there were a few obscure diamonds in the rough, like Touch of the Dead, other games consisted of a bunch of Harry Potter games that wouldn't go past the main menu, and these wacky educational games with a few random nonsensical puzzle games mixed in. I want to say like 30 to 40% of the games wouldn't even load up. And the few that did were these bargain bin skid mark games like Eminem's Break'em. There was no Pokemon Black and White. There was no new Super Mario Brothers. No Contra 4. None of the awesome Castlevania titles that are on the DS. But hey, at least there's Horseback Simulator or whatever this is supposed to be. Yeah, I can honestly say I'm pretty annoyed with this thing. 
I mean, even if you weren't going to put 500 games on here, there's at least a good 15, 20 exceptional DS games that you could have put on here to make it worth it. But instead, you got these four good games, and the rest is all trash. Yeah, I can't recommend anyone purchase this thing. If you're going to go the route of a multi-cart, I would say save your money, buy an R4 card. They're really easy to program yourself, and just pick and choose what games you want. But I would not pay $30 for this thing. Hell, I'm not even sure I'd pay $0.30 cents for it. Anyway, stay away from scamware like this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.